This tutorial will show you how you can search for articles for the course Human Performance Technology. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to search for articles using two different techniques. First, how to search our subscription databases by using the library database link. We're going to search Education Source, ERIC, and Business Source Premier. Then I'm going to show you how you can browse selected journals by using the library's online journals link. Start your search at the library homepage, www.lib.purdue.edu. We are going to use the links that are below the search window. So see where the arrows are? We're going to use the link called databases and the link called online journals. Let's get started. Let's go to the library homepage and start our search. Okay, here we are at the library homepage. So I am going to go to the database link right here and load this link. This brings up, oh, 463 databases that the library subscribes to. That's a little bit overwhelming, but we know we want to search for Education Source as one of the databases, so we can just type that into this window here. And it comes up right here with a description and a hot link to the database. We click here, we will load Education Source. Once you have loaded Education Source database, the next step is to add the other two databases so we can search three databases simultaneously. You do this by clicking on the Choose Database tab. Um, once this opens up, we can add other databases. Let's add Business Source Premier and let's add ERIC. There are other databases in this list we might be interested in too, but for now we're just going to choose three databases to start. Then we click OK. Now we're going to go to the advanced search option because we really want to have three search windows so we can divide our question into multiple ideas or concepts. So let's start with the first idea, performance technology. Now I'm putting quotes around this that forces the computer to find a phrase, the exact phrase, these two words in this order. And then I'm going to put in a synonym and I'm going to separate them with OR. The OR does not have to be capitalized, but it can be, and I'm capitalizing it just so you can see it. And here I'm typing in performance improvement, and I'm putting that in quotes also. Then I'm going to put in uh, employee, but I don't uh, I want employee, employees, employment. So I am going to put an asterisk right after the stem of the word uh, E-M-P-L-O-Y. That'll pick up all the words that start with that beginning of a word. And I'm going to just go ahead and hit the search button. Oh, by the way, before I do that, I'm going to show you that we are, in fact, searching Education Source, Business Source, Premier, and ERIC. Okay, let's go ahead and click the search button. The computer will search all three databases. It responds with over 2,000 articles. Now, there are a couple things we can do to reduce the number of hits here. For one thing, we could make this appear in the subject term field. That would mean it would have to appear in this field. So, uh, for example, in this record, we see the word employee in the subject heading field. So let's update our search, and that cuts our search down to about a thousand articles. That's still quite a bit, probably too much to look at. So we could um, go over here on the left hand side and use this little publication date bar and maybe limit to the last 10 years, which would probably be sufficient for this search. Now we're down to 713 articles. Of those articles, about 500 of them are in academic journals, and a um, little over 100 are in magazines, and 57 in trade journals. So surely that is um, um, a pretty good search. As a matter of fact, if you think this is still too broad a search, too many, we can add a third concept. Let's add the concept motivation. Now, Just like with employee, we can truncate 
or shorten this. So we're just searching the stem plus all endings of the word. And let's also say we want motivation to appear in the subject field. Now let's do our search again. Now we have 66 articles, a much more manageable number. Now again, they are limited to 2004 to date. And of those 66 articles, 38 are in academic journals, about half, and uh, 15 are in magazines and 11 in trade journals. So you would be able to find both academic and trade-oriented articles. Now, the next step would be to begin looking at these articles and pick the ones you are most interested in. The computer tries to rank them by relevancy, so we'll stick with that ranking, although we could change it and rank by newest or by source or another. We'll leave it at relevant right now. Um, get this little window to close. Okay. The next step would be, when we're looking at these, to decide which ones we want. Now this little magnifying glass helps because it will show us the abstract of the article. And that will help you choose the one you want. Um, so let's scroll down here and say, okay, maybe we're not interested in the first, but maybe we are in the second one, examining the differential longitudinal performance of directive versus empowering leadership in teams. If you're interested in that article, you can click here and the PDF of the article would load. Um, then you could download it, you could print it, you could send it to someone. Now this third article, which we also might be interested in, is um, not available within the EBSCO database. So if we wanted to know if this article were available to us, we would have to click here and that would load whether the library subscribes to that journal or not. I'll show you that in just a minute. Before I show you how to use the Find It at Purdue button, I want to show you how you can limit your search um, so you're choosing the type of article. Over here on the left hand side, we can see um, that we can limit our search to just academic journal articles. Those would be articles that have the research and theory type articles you would need. Or you could choose magazine or trade publications, which would give you more the practitioner point of view. Right now I've limited to magazine articles. Now let's scroll down and see. Um, the first um, two are available in HTML, and then we have um, a PDF. But number four is not available within the EBSCO database. That means EBSCO has not been able to contract um, with this journal, Managing Training and Development, to get the full text. So they are recommending you check with Purdue to see if we have the full text. And we do that by just clicking on this button. Um, this loads an, another database, an internal database, that shows where we have the full text to this article. And here is the article we are looking at. It's a 2004 article. So since it's available from ProQuest, let's just click on this and um, that will go to the ProQuest database where in fact we can see the full text of the article right here. If you prefer to have this in PDF format, you could click here and that would get you the PDF. Okay, let's go back to our results list and let's just review what we did so far. We went to um, Education Source and from Education Source we chose, um, we expanded the number of databases and added Business Source Premier and ERIC to our search. Then we searched for Performance Technology or performance improvement, and then we also wanted to have the subject heading word employee, the STEM for employee, and in the subject heading field the word motivation. So our search had three concepts, and from that we found, um, then we narrowed our search to 2004 to date, and um, scrolled through the uh, articles listed and pick the ones we wanted. We could uh, find the um, PDF or the uh, HTML for many of the articles and those that we couldn't, we used the Find It at Purdue button.